Hi and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to freeze uh, rows and columns in Excel. So what we're talking about is the ability to freeze this purple row here and or this blue column here. And I'll just show you what I mean. If we just zoom in. If we're using this spreadsheet and we want to insert data into these cells here, as we scroll down our spreadsheet, you can see the purple row at the top vanishes and all the information in it. So if I wanted to insert something into, let's say, section seven, as I scroll down, section seven disappears. So as I'm reading through, I can no longer see which row is section seven. And in the same way, if I scroll left to right, my blue column disappears and so, so does the information contained in those cells. So what we want to do is to freeze them so that as we scroll left and right and up and down, the information contained in these cells remains visible. So first of all, if we go up to view in our Excel software and we go along, we notice there are three icons here. Now, just stick with me because they don't necessarily work the way you think they might. So if we click on freeze top row, it does exactly what it says. So as I scroll down, you can see that now the purple row at the top has frozen and we can move up and down our spreadsheet with all the information clearly visible as we scroll. If I then freeze the first column, which is this blue column here, and click on freeze first column, again, it does exactly what it says. And as I scroll left to right, it freezes the first column. However, if I then scroll up and down, unfortunately, the information at the top has disappeared again, because what it's actually done is it's um, it swapped between freezing the top row and freezing the first column. So if we want to freeze the top row and the first column, then you would think it will be as easy as to click on this corner section here, this corner cell, click on freeze panes because that's the blue ones that are highlighted. And you could simply scroll left and right and have the information to hand. Now, that is the case, but as you can see, it's frozen at column G. And then if we scroll up and down, it's frozen at row 12. So effectively, by clicking on there, it's frozen this section here. Now, for some of you, that might be absolutely fine. But for many of you, as it would be for myself, I want to have the entire row and column visible at all times. So in order to do that, if we just go up and click unfreeze panes, and then we highlight the cell, which is directly in the corner of the row and column you'd like to freeze. So if I select this cell here, then I click freeze panes and now when I scroll up and down you can see my top row is frozen and my left hand column is frozen. So I've now retained all the information I need in those rows and columns. Now if you choose to do that and you have more information that you'd like to freeze as you scroll such as this spreadsheet here. If we just zoom in. If again we want to freeze all of the coloured rows and columns, if we go to the corner cell here, we go up to freeze panes and again if we scroll up and down you can see that we've frozen both the purple and the yellow columns, sorry rows, and then we scroll left to right 
and again we've frozen the blue and orange columns. If you want to unfreeze your panes then you simply go up to the unfreeze panes icon and there you have it. I hope that's helped somebody out there. If it has, please subscribe and I hope you have a great day.